You're about to hear a story of murder, corruption, <laughs> violence, exploitation, adultery, and treachery. <laughs> All these things we hold near and dear to our hearts. <laughs> One shot. One shot is all it took to get my big shot. And you want to know the best part? <laughs> I didn't even need him. Roxy Hart, the little girl born on a chicken farm down in Lubbock, is now a star. You hear that, mother? Oh, all my life I wanted to have my own act. But no, 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 it was always no. They always turned me down. A big world full of no. And then Amos came along. Safe, sweet Amos, <laughs> who never says no. Sometimes I can be right and Sometimes I can be wrong, but he doesn't care. He always strings along. He loves me so, that funny honey of mine. <laughs> oh, stop it, Roxy, you're rattling again. You have to practice for your show. Okay. Oh, you know, I've never done this before, but it's such a special night, and you're such a great audience, and I just feel I can talk to you, you know? So, forget what you've read in the papers, and forget what you've heard in the radio, because I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. Not that the truth really matters, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you anyways. In the bed department, Amos was... Zero. I mean, when he made love to me, it was like he was fixing a carburetor or something. Oh, love you, honey. Oh, love you. <laughs> so anyways, so then I started fooling around, and then I started screwing around, which is fooling around without dinner. <laughs> <laughs> And then I met Fred Casey, and he said he could get me into vaudeville, but that didn't quite work out like I planned. I guess it didn't really work out for Fred either. I can still remember how he told me he was leaving me. So I guess it's now all over, Fred, huh? I guess so, Roxy. Oh, Fred. You should have known. Nobody walks out on me, you son of a... Well, I was in such a state of shock. I completely blacked out, I can't remember a thing. It wasn't until later, when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew he was dead! Oh, I kill him and I kill him again! I've always had this phrase, the end justifies the means. <laughs> And that's what all of those down in Murdoch had. It was just that nobody understood our motives, our feelings. If anybody had been there, if anybody had seen it, I bet they would have done the same. <laughs> if my attorney was hearing me right now. But like he always says, you gotta Give them what they want. <laughs> Apparently, what no one can resist is a reformed sinner. Sweetest little jazz killer to ever hit Chicago. That's my headline. But it's all a circus, a three-ring circus. The trials, the whole world is just show business. Billy Flynn has never lost a case. And I don't intend to be the first one. But the truth is, I'm really glad I killed him. Because without that one shot, I wouldn't have all this publicity 
and all these nice things. And it got me a world full of yes! Oh, it's good. Isn't it grand? Isn't it great? Isn't it swell? Isn't it fun? Isn't it? Nowadays, you can like the life you're living. And you can live the life you want. Just remember, stay away from jazz and liquor and the man who play for fun. That's the thought that came upon me when we both reach for the gun.